Welcome ladies and gentlemen, today I'm going to be discussing how to sprawl in eclipses. So I'm going to be giving away like little tips and tricks and stuff like that. I've already done the video and I'm just going to commentate above it. And so things I'm going to also let you guys keep in mind is when you're loading in, um, if you want a competitive edge, you need to set your uh, settings uh, on for all the options you see in the settings icon. It will um, help things, be, the, things will look a lot more simple and less organized, but it will make you load in a lot faster. So now that we're loaded in, you're going to see that we are slowing spawning in, but because of the video and I have to the on for a higher quality, just make it look like a higher quality video, we are lagging a bit in the beginning. Usually that doesn't happen if you have a decent end computer and you are, um, have the settings on. Now, we took took a look around to find the best pumps, and we were fortunate enough to find pumps over there. I'm grabbing some crystals to head over there, and once we head over there, uh, since we were lucky enough to have a 4 pump, uh, our desi designer sprawl will be a little different than if you had a 3 pump. But it's all going to start the same, because we're going to start with 3 pumps. Now, we need to build them, of course, so 1, 2, 3, as so, and gotta wait for our them to build. To get some more crystals make sure you're using up the crystals before you end up using like a refill station or like a spawn refill uh, there's two ways you can get uh, you can build a sprawl you can either do it with a refill station or a spawn now there's benefits and drawbacks on both sides uh, a refill station is faster but a spawn is a little bit slower but it does also provide a little bit more protection against uh, early rushers so, if you want to have your sprawl up faster, then you use a refill station. If you want a slight protection, but a slight slowdown, if you happen to not have guns or something, you can end up using a uh, spawn. Now, as you can see, we're starting with the refill station just because uh, it doesn't really matter. But once we're starting up, we need to use the crystals around just to make it a lot more efficient. Uh, because the pumps only produce so much, so if you're taking iridium from the pumps and while they're trying to build, you're not really making as fast of progress as you can. It'll work, I just don't recommend it because it's not going to be as fast as the process if you were just to grab crystals. Now, we're starting to burn low on crystals, but that's okay. We're just gonna take up all the crystals we can and then just let it do the rest of the work. So, gotta wait for the build and then finally build. And now, because of the situation we're in, I'm gonna get the extra little pump over here just because the convenience and it's an easy extra 5 iridium. Now I'm going to pipe it like so with the T-junction and connecting it like there. You might want to pipe it other ways. Just keep in mind that there's a current bug if you put like 4 ways or uh, T, T, I think T-section, junction, whatever you call them, do it as well, but uh, it can make your island um, collisions messed up. So, not collision, I think it's collision, I don't know, I forgot what it's called. Uh, but things will just fall through the map if you build on top, or like, on that island. And there's really no way to fix it besides breaking uh, said uh, four ways or T-junctions, so just keep that in mind. Um, I'm putting an arc between those two and these two right here because uh, they will cover every single um, uh, will pump in my section, so just keep that in mind. And I'm putting uh, a turret on all of the uh, the fabricators and my well pumps. It's good practice to do that. And I'm finishing it up by putting um, uh, two shields. Um, keep in mind that each shield is going to be 10 iridium per second usage, leading down to around 5 once they're fully charged up. So each pump makes 15 maxed out. So you're using two thirds of a pump early game just for one shield. So keep in mind when you're uh, building your base. Now, some things you also want to keep in mind is you can also put your shields a little higher if you're planning on uh, to sky base. So you can put them on an arc and it'll add extra protection further up the stem. Uh, so you don't have to worry about as far uh, shields up your stem, down your stem. Now, you also can put some fabricators in the bottom helping you to uh, build a sea base. And I want to thank you for watching my video and consider subscribing.